Hey guys, this is Caspi with Tape, and today you join me for another episode of Fighter Jet Showdown, the final qualifier before the grand finale. And last time I talked about how many craft I'd received, um, but little did I expect to receive even more this time. I received maybe like 60 emails with over 100 craft. It's taken me two days to sort through them. And I couldn't narrow it down to seven, hence there being eight jets in this uh, in this competition. So thank you to all of you who sent me stuff. It was so difficult to narrow it down to this. It was incredible, and just, just thank you so much. It was awesome to see that many submissions, and a little time-consuming, but I'm not complaining. Anyway, so, our first jets. Well, the first ones we're looking at are M2000s, and these come to me from Devon. Um, oh, from Piggy Ma, which is the name we put in the... Uh, Thing. And yeah, these are pretty cool. They're single-engined. Um, I'm not sure what they're based on. Mirage 2000s is what it says, actually. Yeah, they're Mirage 2000s, and I'm a big fan of Mirage's uh, Dassault planes, even. Um, and yeah, they look pretty cool. And what will they be going up against? Well, they will be going up against um, a, pa a pair of R-401 Meteors coming to me from... from Pete. Um, same name as me, interesting. And yeah, they're pretty cool. They're quite nice. The engines are really spaced. They're almost kind of MiG-like. Um, and yeah, I just really like them. I think they're really cool. So before I ramble any more, let's get them into the air. Let's get them fighting. Start competition. My job is done. I'll sit back and watch. I didn't activate those engines. Uh, it doesn't matter. I can just go activate them now. It'll take them a little longer to get into position, but it's cool. So these will take off. These will take off. These are streaking into the air very quickly, bobbling around a little bit, often uh, indicative of... Oh, shit! <laughs> Right, yeah, we're gonna have to do that again. Oh no. Oh shit, I stopped recording. Okay, I'm back. I, uh, basically, yeah, the planes hit each other and then I tried to quick save but hit stop recording. The buttons are right next to each other. But anyway, this at least means that I can activate these engines. Ah, uh, okay. Now we're good. Let's go. Quick save there just in case they hit each other again. In fact, I'm gonna move one of these jets a little, um, so that it, they don't hit each other. Uh, just like that'll be fine. There we go. Now we can start the competition. All right, uh, good start. These, again, streak into the air. The uh, Mirage is also a little slower, but they're single engine. Oh, oh, there we go. It's cool. Apparently I can control them as well. <laughs> uh, avoided a collision. That'd be bad, just constant collisions. Um, it looks like these are taking off faster. Um, uh, ooh, vessel move is still open, fuel is good. There we go. Yeah, they are fairly equally weighted. I think these are just lighter planes because they have much less fuselage, although these do have half the fuel for half the engine. They do look a little heavier. But who knows, they have very big wings, although they both have big wings. This is basically just a flying wing. Big fan of planes like this. It's why I like MiGs and Sukhois so much. <clears throat> and yeah, so I guess we just wait until the pilots are in the position, I think, eight kilometers away from each other. They'll turn around, start fighting, and it's starting. They break high, and this one doesn't really break at all. It's having trouble. Ooh, shit, that could be problematic. The other one is already uh, firing off missiles. Uh, looks like the Mirage is also firing off missiles. Spiraling and hopefully not getting hit. Hopefully also have chaff and stuff. Some of the planes I had to arm myself. Um, but uh, I do always make sure they have chaff and things, usually. Um, <laughs> and there we go. Ooh, shit, we lost something. It got taken out by a missile. Oh, shit, son. Um, that's one down, it's popping flares, it's not looking good for the Mirages, we got a guy on our tail, oh shit! Pops some flares, oh but he's flown right past, if this guy had sustained a little better maybe he could have put guns to him. But it looks like he's going after this guy who's kind of just fucked off over here. Toe, oh, spinning out of control. Ah, well maybe that's the problem. And it looks like he's going to be taken down, oh just misses, but it kind of looks like he's going to hit the ground. Let's get back with the Mirage, see what's happening. There's a guy closing in on his tail. This is actually pretty intense. Um, that guy's still alive and has regained control. Missile blows up, probably hitting a flare. Gunfire rains in. There's two on his tail. Looking rather amazing. Look at that. That is beautiful. How do I turn the UI off? Oh, that looks awesome. Yes, the uh, Mirages have been destroyed. And the R-401 Meteors reign supreme. Where the hell is my mouse? I have lost it. I have too many screens. Oh no, it's just not... There we go, there it is. <laughs> um, and yes, these win! I actually, for a while, thought the Mirages had it when this guy was spinning out of control, but that was really cool watching it chase him down. Anyway, let's move on to the next Jets. Congratulations to Pete for the first round. Um, you're looking like you're doing good. 
So the next planes we're looking at come to me from Carl, and these are a pair of F1, well, I think it's F1 Python, but it's spelt uh, with the H and the Y in the wrong position, so it's uh, H1 Phyton? Now, well, that may be right, because the H would be after the T. Yeah, so they're F1 Phytons. I initially thought they were Pythons. Maybe it's a spelling error, maybe not. Uh, but yeah, these, look, these are pretty cool. They've got kind of... Well, they look like they have small wings, but they've got a lot of wings. So uh, they actually look like they might do quite decently. Anyway, let's just get them into the air now. Um, and yeah, there we go. See how they take off. All right, these guys moving in. Yeah. Um... Yeah, they don't, these, I think these guys are going to have, uh, are probably going to do pretty well because they're just a flying wing and they're very light, which might help. But I'm thinking testing these guys were pretty good. Um, I have been sent a few today which had, initially had turrets on them. Um, so they'd be using turrets in a dogfight. I remove them and put normal guns on them because it kind of gives them an unfair advantage. Um, because you don't have to, like, turn as much. And it's more about the skill of the dogfighting rather than the, uh, weapon design. Because obviously you could just, you know stick a bunch of turrets on it and it would just win wherever stuff was. And I didn't really want that, it would just make it boring. Um, but anyway, yes, looks like we're starting, we've got these guys, they're turning decently, um, and they look fairly controllable. These guys, while, uh, oh, they've turned pretty well, but these seem to have a few control issues. Um, that guy blows himself out of the sky, what the shit happened? I have no idea. Well, we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, uh, he exploded, maybe got hit by an early missile, I actually don't know. Um, have these guys fired? They have. It's hard to say. Maybe he blew himself up. That would be a design issue. Oh, missile just misses. Uh, this guy is by himself now, but we know them to be quite good from the last fight, at least. Um, it looks like they're getting into gun range. I reckon that's where this guy will shine, but oh, there's gunfire coming in. Oh, ooh, he's hit, and he's dead. Oh no, he's still got one engine. He might, he might have this, but he'll have control issues. But he's doing pretty well. That's impressive. Um, luckily the kind of side is fairly... Fairly... Ooh, shit. Oh, come on, fire your guns. Oh, I think it may have destroyed his uh, ammo box or something. Yes, and he tumbles into the ground. It looks like defeated quite quickly. It looks like there may have been something weird going on, but I'm not sure. Can't really verify. And it looks like these guys have won, so short-lived for Pete. But uh, those are some pretty awesome fighters. And the F1 fightings are uh, now supreme. So the next planes that will be entering the competition are a pair of EF-2000s from... Uh, so the creator name is Eka, Eka 001 um, Yeah, I'm going to say that's the name, that's what it says. Anyway, yeah, these, I believe, are a pair of, um, well, copies of Eurofighter Typhoons. And they look really good. They could also be Dassault Rafales, because they're quite similar. Um, but they look really good. I think they perform pretty well, but they mostly just look beautiful. They actually have custom air intakes on the bottom, which look a lot like the actual Eurofighter intakes, which I love. I do very much love Eurofighter Typhoons. Maybe I'm biased because I'm British, but still, they're so cool. Um, I've made a couple of changes, just put the uh, ray dome in there to kind of build this composite nose. And yeah, anyway, these are ready to go, so let's get them in the air and see if they can take on the F1 Phytons. Um, so here we go. Twin engines, but uh, lots of fuel. Uh, well, same amount of fuel, but I meant they're quite heavy. But these aren't the lightest things in the world. Um, I mean, they're quite bulky. Uh, they've got quite a nice body shape. Um, but yeah, anyway, so we'll follow these guys because we've seen them before. They're getting pretty close. We'll just call it tight formation and not, oh shit, we're gonna die. Um, yeah, this guy rolls over and it's looking pretty goo, pretty goo. Yeah, it looks much nicer when it's got uh, not a ray dome here and one of these instead. Um, but I often get aircraft sent to me without ray domes. And then you can't fire your missiles, which isn't great. Um, oh, it looks like it actually did have a radome. So now it has two. I'm sorry, I ruined it. I couldn't see its inline radome because it has a very complicated body. But apparently I put an unnecessary radome in there, so I'm sorry. But, uh, it's fine. Anyway, we've got them turned around now. I think these are fairly equally missiled, I believe. I actually didn't check. Yeah, these have a few more sidewinders, actually, but it doesn't matter. Most, uh, um, kills in this are scored with guns. These fire off their missiles, um... Which is probably how, well, how most kills are scored in real life, but not in this. Um, the Eurofighter Typhoons are pretty cool. They can perform their whole mission at supersonic speeds. That's why they don't need to be stealthy. Um, and, ooh, shit, we've got a missile coming in. 
Oh, it's coming in. But it looks like this guy's just dodged it. Nicely, nicely done. The thing about having this cool custom intake is it has a very big wing area, which means it can sustain turns quite well. has fairly low wing loading, which is important. And yeah, well, it looks like we've popped off another Amram, and these guys are just kind of floundering a little bit. They're kind of turning away. You want to be going for them. Oh, shit, we got more missiles coming in, and he just dodges. Looks like he did. And this guy's about to maybe get hit by a missile, and no. Yeah, it looks like we're just having a bit of a bit of a missile off at this point. Are these set to the right kind of guard mode? Yeah, okay. Because um, if they have really long gun ranges, then some of complaints about that last episode. Oh, this guy's shredded by guns as he tries to fire off a missile. But uh, looks like, uh, yeah, he's, he's dead. <laughs> this guy, it looks like this guy's chasing down um, the aggressor, though. Uh, this guy, I want to see it from the, um, the guy getting attacked. And oh yeah, bullets coming in, but it looks like this guy's turned around quickly enough. Oh, mid-air collision, maybe? Oh no, this guy's got in distracted. He's running away. He's flying next to each other at this point. Oh, this guy's trying to take on... Oh, this isn't dead. This is still going. That's some bullshit. What have you been doing? Is there a probe core in here, sir? <laughs> That's some shitty moves. Um, this guy literally cut in two. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Sliced in half. Um, that was awesome. So yes, the uh, the fightings continue to win. Actually, this guy's not dead. We'll see how it goes. Is there a probe in here? There must be. That's probably how it's keeping going. We'll watch this guy get ripped apart. Well, wow, that was impressive. Um, not the best dogfighters, but goddamn beautiful and can be torn in two, which I'm a big fan of. That looked really cool. He's just running for the space at this point. Um, I guess he's having a few control issues, missing some canards and such. Um, is this controllable? Can I input into this? Um, it looks like he might just get away, obviously. Oh, yeah, yeah, there's totally taken input. Um, how are these guys? I think they've kind of given up on killing this guy. But, uh, oh, this guy lost a wing. Holy shit, I didn't see that. Oh, that's a shame. They weren't terrible dogfighters. They, uh, they, they totally... Oh, is he firing a missile? Oh, no, there's just a bit of debris attached to him still. Um, yeah, I think this guy's lost. But this guy did lose a wing. I wish I'd seen that. Um, yeah. Pretty cool. Maybe it was a mid-air collision. Who knows? I'm missing so much cool stuff today. Damn it. Anyway, let's move on to the next jets rather than reveling in my failure. Um, who will who will dethrone the F1 uh, fightings? Or maybe no one will and they'll make it to the final. But let's go see that right now. So the next planes are a pair of MiG-29 Fulcrums, which come to me from Owen. And uh, yeah, this one's so confident it's dancing. Yeah, it's just this annoying suspension glitch. But yeah, MiG-29 Fulcrums, I'm a big fan of MiGs. I think they're probably, as I said, probably some of my favorite jets. But uh, yeah, anyway, let's get them in the air. Let's see if they can dethrone the glorious F1 Fightins. Um, oh yeah, this one's, yeah, it's stabilized now that it's going. <laughs> it's gotten serious. Um, yeah, there's lots of nice details on this. You can see the, uh, the ooh, 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 careful. Careful! <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> okay, they're fine though, actually. Okay. Yeah, they were just hugging. They were like, yeah, they were bro fisting. They were like, oh yeah, we're gonna do well. We're gonna do so well that we can just roll around. It was a tactical maneuver. They take the form of Mega Mig. That's what it says in the email, at least. I'm telling you. Um, it looks like they almost hit each other again. Okay. Oh, this has been a very collidey, <laughs> collidey episode. But no, these um, these have a pair of... I like how they've kind of slightly slanted the intakes. I think that looks really cool. Very realistic. Anyway, it looks like they turn first, get some missiles away. Oh no, these guys are firing. Looks like they're fired at the same time. Might be very well balanced. Alright, the missiles are away. Missiles are coming in. Can they avoid? Are they as maneuverable as they make out to be by all their dancing and all their kind of aerial hugging? Um, that's all it is, and oh no, this guy's gonna die. Oh no, oh, is he? Oh yeah, not quite! Oh, <laughs> that guy almost died. Um, looks like this guy's so oh, gonna be chased down by these. It's hard to say, it seems to be, they seem to have changed how they fight in the recent episodes. They're doing more missiles, keeping their distance a little more. Fights tend to be over quite quickly occasionally, which is a shame. I wanted to see how that last one got split in half. I'm thinking it may have been an aerial collision now. Missiles are rolling in. Uh, this guy, this guy has maneuvered his way into the pack of, well, I guess the, not really a pack, but you know what I mean, of the other guys, and it looks like he may be on him. He may be rear on him. Yeah, you can see that. Oh, he's diving in, but oh no, he takes some bullets. It was, it, it was a trap. Oh god. And uh, this guy up high, is he going to be able to do anything, or is he going to get trapped by the fightins again? 
Oh, he's getting into uh, getting into gun range. Um, no, looks like he's uh, missed there. A little hard to shoot, I guess. How are these guys doing? Looks like this guy may be chasing down the MiG. Yep. Oh shit, what is this? Oh no, this guy switcheroos him. He switcheroos him, and he takes down! Oh my god. Uh, it looks like he's not dead, though. Looks like these are pretty durable. Um, but he's lost a wing. He won't be in the fight much longer. In fact, I should... Oh, who's he shooting? Are you shooting the wrecked guy? Oh, you shouldn't be doing that. Uh, maybe I should take that guy out of the competition. Um, no, because that, uh, that would kind of eliminate the uh, use of durability. Uh, looks. Oh yeah, he's getting d uh, dived upon by the other F1. He's got to get out of here. You too hot, Maverick. It looks like this guy may be much faster than uh, the fightings. Even though he's getting away, but oh my God, stop shooting that guy and shoot the guy behind you. Oh, uh, this guy's still going. Oh my God, how durable are these things? Oh, he flames out. He's fucked now. Uh, oh, are you gonna focus on the guy in front of you now? Oh my God, is he gonna take it? Oh, he's getting shot by the guy behind him. Revenge. Oh my god, this guy is insane. This is... He's gonna get the kill. This is gonna be the biggest upset in history of... Oh my god! Oh, he gets a hit, but it doesn't look like a kill. This guy is still alive. Missing an engine, though. This is insane. This is one of the best designed jets I've ever seen. It's still going. It's still fighting. It just got another hit. Oh my god. This has been an interesting episode, an episode of things you don't expect. This guy's still flying, though. A lot of really, really able craft. This is durable, too. Lost an engine can keep fighting. That's the use of having two engines. Although, in real life, often you get more failures with a two-engine craft. It looks like this guy has finally tumbled to his doom, will be shot down. But my god, my god, did he fight hard. Oh, no, he's still going. Yeah, you can't kill this guy. Invincible. <laughs> I'm thinking this guy might take the whole competition if he's this invincible. Oh no, he's got a he's got one on his tail. Oh, that looks so awesome. But he didn't take the shot. What the shit, bro? You had it. You had it, bro. What are you doing, bro? You had a bullets? I think infinite ammo's on. So you shouldn't be. Um Infinite ammo. Ooh! He's still shooting! I turned infinite ammo on because of stuff like this where it takes so long. Fucking kill him. I just want this guy to be dead now. Although I kind of don't. I kind of... He is fucking with this MiG. Look how awesome that looks. That chase and another one behind him. Oh my god. This... You never tire of seeing this shit. It's so awesome. He's too squirrely to be killed. He hasn't got any wings to shoot. You'd think they're shooting off all your... They're finally dead. My god. Oh, Jesus. It looks like this guy's missing another part as well. He's been really fucked up. Now it is one on one, or more like one on a half. This guy has the engine advantage, but this guy has the just fucking baller advantage. Both of these planes are ballers. I mean, <laughs> ooh, almost a collision. That'd be a weird way to end. What if it ends in a draw? What do I do then? I guess we have a rematch. This guy's coming around. This guy is still fairly dominant. I have to say, I have no idea who's going to win. At no point in this dogfight have I had any idea who was going to win. This guy just too maneuverable. Does he have guns? Why aren't you firing, sir? Oh, he's gonna... Oh, is he gonna get a missile kill? Oh, shit, is he gonna do it? Why isn't he firing weaponry? Are you just turned into a pacifist? What is happening? Oh, he's trying to chase the dot. Oh, my God, this guy cannot get a shot on him. Maybe this guy's just a little too maneuverable, even with one engine. Oh, this may just go on forever, but uh, I don't care. I'm happy to do this until I die. This is this is fantastic to watch. Oh, God, you guys are so lucky that I make content. This is amazing to watch. No, of course, this is all just... The magic of the BD Armory developers making things just look amazing. Um, it's it's not that they're, it's like visually beautiful, it's the things that happen. That's the kind of stuff I like. I think that's the kind of code I write, really. Like a lot of my, um, a lot of the people on my course are like really like arty and their things look beautiful, but mine are quite mesmerizing. Like I did this little AI thing that plays this game. Game sucked, looked like shit, but you couldn't look away. Um, that's the kind of thing I like. Um, oh, he fires a missile. Will he get the kill? No way. You gotta get some gun kills, bro. You gotta fuck him up. Fuck him up. <laughs> I don't know who I want to win. They're both such ballers. Why aren't you firing weapons? Oh, he takes a hit. Oh my god. He can't sustain his turn that well with only one engine. But oh, he is on his tail. Oh my god, this MiG. Jesus Christ. Both of these deserve the victory. I think one of these, the loser, might actually be the honorable mention in... Uh, <laughs> In the final one, I might just bring them back, because I am thinking of bringing back uh, two others to make it up to seven, because there'll only be five things. Oh, he spins out! He's been chased down into a spin, but he pulls out, and now he's behind the MiG! Oh my god! Jesus Christ! 
This is too awesome. Oh, but he will not fire his fucking weapons. Fire your guns! What? Is there a pro what, Are you unable to fire or something? Just- Oh my god, you're in just perfect gun zone! What is happening? Why are you pacifist? Can I fire your guns? If I turn guard mode off, can I fire your Vulcan cap? I can! Your guns are working. Fucking use them. You had the perfect shot. I mean, that's just- that's kind of bullshit, right? I mean, that's just some- that's a- FIRE SOMETHING! <laughs> Does he- What's happening? This is the most confusing, really long dog- I'll uh, just hit each other. You- both of you deserve to win. Oh my god. Just fucking kill him, bro. He's not firing his guns. He's making me mad. This is not fighter jet peacefulness. This is fighter jet showdown. Uh, okay, come on. Come on. Someone fire your guns. Someone get a kill. Oh, and he's got his wing ripped off him. Uh, I think this must be some kind of glitch. But, uh... I'm, I'm thinking even if this guy doesn't win, which is looking like he won't, he will be in the final, because just such ballerness, and I don't think their win was totally legitimate. The MiG, fantastic. He has to go on, fight some more, trance some fools, but wow, thank you to both of you, to, to Owen and to, um, and to Carl. Those were both amazing. That was insane. Anyway, let's see who will try to challenge this MiG, which is just... Wow, incredible. So the next two that will be going up against the MiGs are a pair of JA-37 Viggins that come to me from the Penguin Bros. And uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. I like the design. They've got an interesting front canard. They've got a sort of just interesting body shape in general. And they have this cool little double engine thing where um, they have a normal turbo fan within a... Oh, a normal turbo jet within a turbo fan. And I think it just... Just looks really cool. So anyway, let's get them in the air. Let's get them fighting. Let's see if these guys can challenge the MiGs. Although, not to be mean, but I kind of doubt it. Because these guys are such ballers. I didn't activate their engines. Um, this guy's still dancing. It's fine. The competition will sort that out. Um, and, phew. I mean, these guys probably need a disadvantage. Um, but who knows? These guys could take it. I know these guys are really good at long, sustained turns. Because they have really big, well-designed wings. And, uh, yeah, they could take it. That would be an upset. Um, yeah, so the MiGs will, well, if they win the rest, will be going through to the uh, final, um, obviously. And I'm thinking that those uh, Phytons will also be one of the honorable mentions in the final, which basically means I'm going to bring back two other craft to bump the numbers up to seven. And also because I think some of the things that didn't win probably deserve a place in the final, like those things that were just so durable. And I think they may have lost because of just control issues. They had some perfect, like, kills. Uh, not control issues, some, like, glitches or something. Like, that guy was right on his tail and he didn't fire, so he'll probably be coming back. Um, unless something trances the MiGs, then I think that may take away the legitimacy from the, uh, from the, um, Phytons. Anyway, these guys fire off some missiles, dive low. These guys also doing the same. Seems to be the standard strategy. They are both using the same AI, so... Oh, looks like... Ooh, almost looked like someone was getting hit. These guys avoid the missiles, and, uh, it looks like uh, they're on them. Ooh, something exploded, but it looks like it was on a... Flare, so we're, we're all good still, all good for a good gunfight, but there's more missiles coming in, probably Sidewinders now. Oh no, they are AIM-120s. Um, oh, one, ooh, ooh, both misses. Okay, everything's still in the air, in gun range, we've got a MiG right on us, but this guy dives low. Hopefully not forced into the ground, always a sad way to go. Um, looks like the other one is taking fire as well. He's Oh, he's got a MiG on a six, and oh shit. But it looks like he's going to fly right past him. He's just too fast. The MiG uh, couldn't slow down in time, but he breaks low. So it looks like he might be safe. Is there anything else happening back there? No, it looks like the other Viggen has... Ooh, got back into missile range. That could be problematic for the MiGs. Um, yeah, this guy's got a missile coming right in. Ooh, this could be a tactical victory. But it looks like he's popping enough chaff that he won't get hit. But oh, now he's taking gunfire. Holy shit, that looks amazing. Do you fucking see that shit? <laughs> oh... Oh, looks like the bullet strikes through, rips him apart. The MiG flies in and flies off victorious. Um, the other Viggen coming in in a cloud of Mac effects, getting into gun range, leading the shot. Looks like he isn't going to take one, though. Bit of a shame there. He had a, almost had a perfect shot. The uh, other MiG just adding insult to injury and flying past. Just one Viggen now, but... And then he slams into the ground. Oh, shit. That is uh, clearly not maneuverable enough. Wow, that was... That was cinematic. These MiGs 
put on a co- <laughs> these pigs put got- put on a really good show. And I'm not I'm not lying. I'm gonna lie. I'm a little biased towards them because of how just balling that one flew with that one engine took on two by itself. Yeah. So yes, I think we do have one more craft to go up against them. And uh, let's see if we can knock the MiGs off their throne. So the next planes to be going up against the MiGs are a pair of Z-1 Hawks, which come to me from Avino, a name I recognize, because I think I may have sank or been sank by that ship in Fall of Kerbin, because Penguin names his uh, ships after subscribers. But anyway, yes, these are pretty cool. They're fairly long. Um, they use three engines. They use a whiplash for extra speed, I guess, and a pair of... Uh, pair of panthers for extra maneuverability and it looks like they might be quite heavy but uh, who knows um, let's get them in the air and let's get them going so we're all good yeah we did the fuck I forgot the engines again <laughs> goddamn quick saves anyway yes we'll let them take off we'll watch these guys streaking ahead incredibly fast having a little time a little trouble pulling up which is a problem because there's some hills up there come on <laughs> just in time didn't want them to ram into a hill. That'd be annoying. I'd have to position them somewhere else. Um, yeah. Alright, who can defeat the MiGs? These are the guys who, like, crashed into each other and survived. Very, very durable. Um, Alright, yeah, these are one of the ones that did actually initially come with Vulcan turrets, but are replaced with just Vulcan guns to take away the advantage, because, uh, can't have that shit. Anyway, yeah, these guys really fast, but I'm thinking quite heavy turn ooh their turns decent but I'm thinking probably not as good as the MiGs they actually do have more missiles maybe I should have nerfed that a little bit um, since these guys so oh, these guys have multiple AMRAMs and the sidewinders rarely get used because usually at that range they're using guns anyway yeah so it looks like everything goes in again will the Z1 Hawks uh, yeah Z1 I almost said Z1 for a second um, <laughs> that's not how to say that letter um, yeah it looks like ooh shit Oh, just dodges one. Nice, bro. Um, <laughs> random Mac effects there. Looks like he's like... I don't know what the hell's happening there. Maybe some kind of falcon punch. Um, oh, we've got another missile coming in. Oh, shit, son. Looks like these guys have been put on the back foot a little bit. And it dodges again. Blows up just behind him. More missiles coming in. The other Z1 looks... Sick. Oh, shit. And misses again. But we've got a MiG on us now. And he ooh, cuts out a bit. But there's a lot of fuselage here. Taking a lot of fire. But looks like he's finally down. Jesus. These MiGs are brutal. Um, takes Taking some hits from behind. I've got another beautiful chase scene. You know, you know how much I love these. Um, and he, ooh, diving low. Might get away from him. He's got some speed to his advantage. But, oh, he is just right on his tail. Um, taking hits, but not dead. And then ripped apart. And we get to see the MiG fly past in all of its beauty. Look at that. Oh, wow. That's really awesome. Okay, <laughs> you can tell I just bias towards these now. I just love things that look good when they kill stuff. Um, anyway, uh, I think I think we do have one more craft, actually. I may have said that last time, but I believe we have one more. So we will go back to that. What if these guys just rip apart an already dead He's already dead. Um, and yeah, okay, I think we do have one more, though. So the final jets that we'll be fighting today are a pair of KF-2000 Cyclones coming to me from El Gusco, and uh, yeah, these are based on Eurofighters, our second Eurofighters, um, but it's it's kind of neat, because this all started um, when I put up a Eurofighter Typhoon against an SU-27, and uh, then I was like, we should do this as a series, and I did, so now we have, yeah, they're MiG-29s, but they're similar to SU-27s, versus a pair of uh, Eurofighters, these are less kind of, they don't have the intakes quite the same as um, they're kind of like beautifully built but they do look really nice and uh, without all that stuff maybe they'll do a little better let's just get them into the air and see who will be going to the final um, yes the final will be next time of course um, I might actually omit the next normal subscriber designs so we can do the final more foo oh shit they're fine um, they're having a little hug as well, much like the MiGs. The MiGs hugging? No. Okay. Yeah, I might uh, um, just do the final next week, because it'll be kind of cool. Although maybe I'll keep you all in suspense. Who knows? Um, anyway, because usually I kind of do them every two weeks, because I do a normal subscriber designs. These guys are looking pretty good, actually. These This could be the biggest upset in the history of sport. <laughs> as I've said, incredibly frequently in this series, because, uh, you know, it's, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a sport, bro. Fighter Jet Showdown. Uh, <laughs> that'd be great. Uh, anyway, yes, these break quite quickly. They're looking good. I mean, the, these were designed to, you know, shoot down Russian jets. So maybe that's what they'll do today. Um, who knows? But I don't know. The MiGs, uh, they've got some skill to them. 
But these guys also look like they're turning pretty well. This could be a really good final dogfight. Um, I think next episode will be amazing because there'll be so many just supreme dogfighters going up against each other. Oh, Missile comes in and just plows right through him. Jesus Christ, that's pretty impressive. Um, do these guys, yeah, they do have chaff and stuff. Oh, well, that is a surprise. This guy could take it back, though. I mean, this is what happened to the MiGs last time. But, oh, now we've got guns coming in. Missile just misses, but the MiG is right on his six, and he's, ooh, getting hits, but he goes right past him. Okay, this guy's having a little trouble. Maybe it's just control issues or something like that. Um, not entirely sure. And there's another MiG. Oh, flies right through, strips him apart. I thought it was going to be a longer dogfight, but no, the MiGs are supreme. So they will be going to the grand final, as will the Fightins, actually, because, as I've said previously, um, because I only have done five qualifying episodes and I kind of usually do seven jets, I'm going to be bringing in two that I think uh, did well enough that they deserve another shot, and the Fightins are definitely on that list. They performed as well as the MiGs, and I think they may have lost just because of glitches. Um, not to say that the MiGs aren't amazing, but yeah, they will be back in it. So yes, the next episode will be the grand finale. There may be a normal subscriber designs in between then, um, but maybe not. Maybe I'll get too excited and do it before then anyway. So either next week or the week after will be the grand finale. Um, and yeah, so uh, don't send me any more fighter jets until maybe I do a season two, but I'm not sure. That might be a while down the road. So yeah, if you want to send me stuff for uh, um, just normal subscriber designs, I mean, maybe it could be like a fighter jet. I mean, I'll still probably look at it, but probably not so much. Um, because yeah, this we're done with this now. But yes, I hope you will come back for the finale, because I think it will be really amazing. Seven of the best jets, and we've seen so many amazing ones. And I mean, just remember the F-15s from the first episode. Those were incredible. Imagine them going up against these. That is going to be fucking intense. So I hope you're as excited as I am for that video. I think it will be amazing, and I hope you'll come and watch it. But this is the end of the video, and if you want to go check out a couple more videos, there is my most recent episode of Road to Colonization. There's also my most recent episode of Prison Architect, in which I don't go to prison, fuck yeah. There's also links to my Twitter, Twitch, and Patreon in the description if you're interested. But as always, I hope you've enjoyed this. This has been KSP with Tape. I will see you next time.